Have you been told over and over again to follow through on your serve, follow through, follow through for power? That is one of the common things that is said by tennis coaches. We're going to discuss that myth today, give you some clarification, and show you what the follow through on the serve is all about. Hi, my name is John Craig, USPTA Elite Professional, and I'm thrilled to bring you this video lesson today because I know it's going to help you build your serve. So the common phrase we hear over and over again is follow through across your body, follow through, follow through on the serve. But in reality, something else happens before that that is very, very important. So if you've been watching our, our video series here sequentially, our lessons I hear on YouTube, you know that there is a trophy position we want you to get into. And there is a movement to get to contact that we want you to learn. And then we want you to understand what happens from here. And oftentimes what coaches will say is follow through and follow through across your body. So players will go down and across, okay? And that is absolutely incorrect. That movement will deplete your serve of power. The intention to do that will deplete your serve of power. And it will also potentially cause an injury. Because when you're swinging across your body early in the downswing, you're going to impinge your shoulder. And it's one of the most common things that people do incorrectly that just takes the energy out of the serve. So what really does happen? Well, as we already know, when you're coming out of the trophy and you're going to contact, the racket ideally is going to be on edge as it's approaching the ball. And then the racket is going to turn from the shoulder primarily. It's going to, the action is going to come from the internal rotation of the shoulder, rotating out and away to bring the strings to the ball. And the energy that's in that movement is going to produce a continuation where the racket is actually going to be facing the side fence and before it comes down. So what you want to feel in your movement and in your, and in your serve is where the racket accelerates from behind, over, and past your hand before it comes down. Now, the degree to which your racket face will rotate depends a lot on your internal rotation of your shoulder, okay? And it can vary tremendously, okay? Some players have exceptional natural rotational ability. They're very flexible, and others don't have so much. One of the great servers in the game today, Roger Federer, if you watch his serve, he does not rotate or pronate as much as a lot of other players do, and yet he's got an amazingly effective serve. So while you can improve the flexibility and uh, we can show you what that's all about later on in this program called Racket Fit. For now, what I want you to practice is coming up to contact and then letting the racket get in front of the hand. See that? So from a side view, the racket head is being thrown over the hand to the point where it's here. And then eventually, the racket will come down. Okay? So what really happens is the shoulder stays up while the racket is making that movement. We don't want the shoulder or the upper arm coming down. That's the last thing that's actually going to come down. So it's going to look more like this and then come down. Okay? That's going to give you the motion and the power that you're going to want on your serve. It's going to help tremendously. And what really does happen is the racket only comes back to you or across you at the very end. So the intention to swing across your body earlier in the follow through really limits your serve performance. And when you understand how the shoulder rotates out and away from the body and then ultimately falls across you at the end is really going to help you. Okay? So how do you practice this? Well, the best way to practice the serve, and I've said this before, is the serve is a completely choreographed movement. It's the only shot in tennis that you have complete control and command over, so it's really choreography. So you can break it down and work on different parts, and you've seen me do that in some other videos. And now we're at the stage where we've come from trophy to contact, to contact, excuse me, from trophy to contact, and now you can just let it fall and let the tip come down, and then bring it down easy like that. And then as you move along, you can make it feel like it's more of one continuous movement, but slow. Slow, quick, slow. Slow, quick, slow. And as you move along, you're going to be able to build that movement 
inside of a swing that is faster. So, you know, oftentimes when we see the professionals serve, it happens so quickly we actually don't see that action. But if you go on YouTube or you go on Google and you just pull up images of Milos Ranić's serve, Federer's serve, even Pancho Gonzalez's serve from the 50s and 60s, Boris Becker's serve from the 80s and 90s, you'll see that they all have this similar movement where the shoulder rotates out in a way and the racket head is down and then the last thing that comes down is the shoulder. That is a magical movement that once you get built in, you'll have your peers and your opponents asking you, how did you develop that amazing swing? They can't necessarily figure out how you did it. They just see that it looks really, really good and it's easy, easy power. So that is what the follow through is really all about. Avoid the myth that you follow through across your body and instead focus on how the shoulder rotates the swing away from the body first and the racket may come across the body at the very bottom. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video today. Of course, there's so much more to learn about the serve. And the good news is, is that we have a free serve video package here that's easy for you to get. All you gotta do is click in this video anywhere or in the content below, enter in your email address. We'll give you access immediately to our free serve course that's really gonna help you build your game. Thank you.